Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design a tetrapod in cryoparametric. So let's get started. So this is the tetrapod which has four legs all around. These legs share the equal angle with each other and I don't know what is the angle in between that and I don't care about that. The only thing I want is I should get the equal angle in between them automatically. Parallelly, I should be able to modify the leg dimension whenever I want without failing any feature. So let's design this part and the design start with a sketch, a revolve feature, couple of patterns and a chamfer. So let's start with a new file and for that go to new, part, solid, assign the name, uncheck use default template and say ok. Now from here you select the proper part template. So I will select this template, this is a metric template and I say ok. Now to create the tetrapod, the first feature is a sketch feature. So go to the sketch, onto the top datum plane, sketch, normal, switch off all the datums. Now here we need to draw a triangle, we should have the equal sides. So for that go to palette, select three sided triangle, just double click here and place here. Close it. Now drag this and place in this position. Scale you take as 100 and say ok. So this is the triangle I need. Now you remember this dimension 100. This is a side dimension, this I need. So first thing I will do is I will change these lines to a construction line. Then the second thing is I will place a datum point somewhere here where the corner forms and which lies on this reference. So you should not place the datum point here because here also the corner forms but there is no reference here. This is also the same. So place your datum point here and say OK. Switch on all the datums. Control D. So now if you click this sketch, you have this datum point here. Now the next feature is a revolve feature. So go to the revolve. And this time you select a datum plane where the datum point lies which is nothing but the right datum plane. So select it. So I will directly select right datum plane from here and I will say normal. Now you switch off all the datums and switch on the datum point. So this is the datum point you have. Now go to the reference. Select this datum point. Now draw a line. Start from this datum point to this reference. Now the dimension. So this length must be equal to the triangle sides, which is 100. Once this is done, select the line, make it construction. Now the next thing is draw two more lines. Start from here, go down and go like this. Now these two lines, you make it equal. This line should be equal with this. Once again, select these two lines and make it construction. Now once this is done, place a datum center line in this reference, just like this. Now draw a sketch, which is the leg sketch. So start like this, go like this, like this and close it. Now go to perpendicular and make this line perpendicular with this. Now the dimension. So I will take angle in between this 10 degree, this dimension I will take it as 30. And then 
this length I'll take it as 75. So this is the sketch I have. Now I'll just say OK and OK. Now you switch on your datum plane. Now this feature has to be patterned. So for that I need to create an axis first. So go to the axis, select this datum plane, hold the control key and select this datum plane. and say OK. Now switch on the center axis. So you got this center axis. Now the next thing is create a pattern. So select this revolve, go for pattern, inside select geometry pattern. Now you go for axis pattern, select this axis, make it three items with 360 degree and say OK. Now you just switch off all your datums and switch on only the axis. One more time you go to this revolve, go for pattern, geometry pattern, axis pattern and this time you select this axis. Again 3 item to 360 degree. Now remember you need only one leg this side, this is not needed, so just click this and say OK. Control D. Now the last feature is a chamfer, so select the chamfer, select this edge, hold the control key, select this edge, this edge and this edge. I will take this value as 2 and I will say OK. and your tetrapod is done. Now if you need to change the leg dimension, then you can easily change. Let us make it 100. It's update. Let us change it to 25. It works. So it works fine, it does not fail. The only thing is this dimension 100, this must be equal to this dimension. So later on you can relate it using the relation. So you can simply say that this dimension is equal to this dimension and verify it. This is successfully verified and say OK. So these two dimensions must be equal so that if one changes another one will automatically update. So if you make this dimension instead of 100 I will make it 50. It will not affect your part. So now you can play with this part, you can change any dimensions, it will not fail. So that's it from this video. So this was the tetrapod in Creo Parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.